All right, so I've got some new exhaust or lack thereof on the street to here. these slash cut drag pipes posted some photos of them on Instagram and a couple of people asked for a video with a bit of a review and also what they sound like so here we are today now the reason that I bought these was because basically they were in the sale they were 99 quid on square deals UK normally they're 199 or I think British Customs sells some that are very similar for 320 quid. So 99 pounds is an opportunity not to be missed in my eyes. There's also a few things about them though that I quite like the idea of. So they're louder, of course, this is as loud as it will get without removing the cat. It's more of a punchy sound as well. Uh, so there's no sound deadening material at all. So it's a really kind of staccato machine gunny sound, especially when you wind on the throttle. And also, I think they'd be better for filtering. The, the Vans and Hines, they actually stuck out quite a long way. And so when you were waddling around cars and maneuvering and stuff like that, uh, you had to be careful not to scratch them or catch someone's bumper. And sometimes it would slow you down a little bit, especially when the traffic gets really heavy in the middle of London. The fact that they also kind of turn out sideways is probably a good thing too if you're filtering because obviously the people you want to hear you coming are in front of you there and with regular silences all of the sound is being projected out backwards so I've certainly noticed that people seem to hear you coming a bit more especially if you blip the throttle a bit they'll see you and move over and let you through so that's going to save you quite a lot of time as well. In terms of fitting these it was quite simple so firstly the foot peg off and then take this heat shield at the front off, loosen the clamp around the catalyzer, loosen the bolt that holds that midsection of pipe in, and then you just remove the, the whole lot there. A quick word on leaving the cat in as well. That's actually recommended by British Customs, not only because they think it would be too loud without it, but also because it doesn't give enough back pressure without the cat or silencer um, for the engine to run as appropriate so they recommend running this with the cap which is what I've got so once you've got the old pipes off um, there's a little collar and gasket to knock off where it inserts into the cat you might need a new gasket if the existing one is damaged I pick mine up off Fowler's parts they're really good for delivering stuff like that quickly and they've got a comprehensive stock of street twin parts amongst others so uh, I got mine from there and then you just need to fit the little collar and gasket onto this new um, pipe there and then push it into the cat tighten up the band around it and then there's just a, a bolt to remove on on the rider's foot pegs there and then uh, that bolt goes back in and through a little bracket that holds this little short pipe in place so didn't take too long, a little bit of messing. I think the reason that these are on sale is because they're not a perfect fit. Where the pipe goes into the cat and the gasket and the collar go on, uh, they seem like the diameter is a little bit small and there's a little bit of space and I've managed to get it airtight um, just by tightening that band up but I think that's probably why these were sold off cheap and maybe the ones that are 199 quid now are better fit than these but for the money they're pretty good and I've managed to make do. Anyway you've probably just clicked this video to hear what it sounds like so here's a clip of me revving the bike here up at the garage And then for comparison, here's the Vance and Heinz, the US spec with the baffles removed. And then the slash cut pipes again. Practically they're actually quite good as well because you've got more access to the chain there for degreasing it and then lubing it again. Um, it's easier to clean all the swing arm area and also if you want to use one of those paddock stands that's just like an L shape that supports the swing arm then you can use one of those too without removing the silencers. So, in some respects, they're both a loud choice and a practical choice. I also really like the way that they look. It's a little bit different. 
Um, there's nothing wrong with the two sweeping out silencers. I think they're a really distinctive part of the, the sort of modern classic triumphs and they look awesome from many angles. But, you know, this is just a little bit different, something a bit unusual compared to that. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. And especially now I've swapped my rusty old chain for a gold one and you can see a bit more of that. I think it looks quite nice altogether. Anyway, let me know what you guys think down in the comments as always. Hope everybody's well. And if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this about the Street Twin and other bikes, then do hit subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.